Hey guys, welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So today I'm in the Technum Hangar in uh, in Sebring, Florida. Uh, right here, we I don't know if you can see outside. It's a little cloudy out there, <laughs> so I'm taking refuge in here. But this is a really cool aircraft behind me, and it's called the P2006. All right, this aircraft is unique because it's a uh, it's somewhat of a trainer, uh, but for me, it's the first twin-engine airplane that I know uses a Rotax engine. So I'm just going to do a walkthrough with you guys, let you check it out, uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to get somebody here to talk to me about it, okay? Stay tuned. So guys, here we are. This is the P2006T. It's a twin-engine. Uh, this is one of the newest line of products. And as you can see, one engine there, one engine here. No joke, guys. This is a Rotax twin engine. So it's a Rotax engine in there. Um, but this then is, is solid. I mean, I believe those are retracts. Has a nice long nose to it. Um, and from what I know, again, I haven't asked any questions yet, but from what I know, this airplane will be used or is being used as a trainer uh, with flight schools. For those of you trying to get your multi-engine rating added to your license, it is a high wing. Uh, the design itself, guys, honestly, like, just first impression, this is pretty neat design. And one of the factors that or features that uh, Technum is selling this aircraft on is the fact that you have those Rotax engines which historically would mean lower fuel burn because um, a lot of twin engine airplane out there can get expensive you know when you think of the amount of fuel you're burning except you buy something even more modern and this aircraft is modern uh, this is a fairly new airplane nice long tail here come around the rudder stabilizer controller just here your elevator it's a lot of conversation going on in here as you can see <laughs> uh, people are passionate about airplanes but I hope this this is not too dark for you uh, one thing I do notice, this, this aircraft is pretty long. This is a very long airplane, uh, and it's it's quite low to the ground. Look, look how short the wheels are in height to the floor. So I don't know what benefit or cons. I don't know the pros and cons to that, but we'll talk about that. That's one of the questions I will ask if I get to speak with somebody. All right, just going around it here. I don't know precisely which Rotax engine is in there, but more than likely it's the 100 horsepower uh, 912 in there. And this is a four-seater. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get proper shot of the interior for you guys. It looks really neat in there. Um, you can see, I don't. you probably can't see. <laughs> But hopefully I'll be able to get a proper shot. Uh, and back here, so there's two seats up front. And back here, actually looks like a lot more room back here. I see one seat, but you can probably put two other seats. And then there's more room even further in the back. Hey guys, so I finally got a chance to see the P2006 interior here. This uh, comes standard with... A G1000 Garmin G1000 panel as you see here very similar to uh, the P2010 model and as you can see this is a it's a twin engine so you've got two of everything two throttle two prop your carb heat also uh, you've got your standard yoke here but it is it is very nice in here look I don't even have to describe look look at all the look at the leg room very nice. I like the nice uh, diamond leather stitch in here with the seats. Very neat. Okay. 
That's the escape route, so you can escape through the roof in this airplane. Pretty awesome. Alright, so you've got two seats up, two seats in the back, and all the luggage for days back there. It's a very nice cabin. There you go with the interior here. But one thing you should know about Technum is they they have a lot of like when you see their airplanes, especially in the interior, which I'm always a big fan of, they they do a good job in designing a really clean interior for their airplanes and not just for the P two thousand and six, but also for the other lines. As you can see here in the hangar, they've got other few models uh, in here. So we'll we'll check those out. But right now I wanna try to get somebody to talk to me about this airplane. But there you have it guys. This is a quick tour of the Technum P2006. Um, again, I'm gonna get somebody to talk to me about it and hopefully that will be another another video. So stay tuned. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike. Uh, make sure you subscribe if this is your first time and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. I'll check back with you guys later. Peace.